In this video, we're going to integrate sine x minus 2, and this is a definite integral, uh, which means that after we perform the integration, we're going to evaluate the results at the limits of integration. So we can just go ahead and jump into it and integrate. So when you're integrating sine, you have to think backwards. So you have to think, what is a function whose derivative is sine? Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so this is going to be negative cosine. Because when you take the derivative of cosine, you get negative sine, and there's a negative here already, so it's like negative negative, so it's positive. When you integrate 2, you just get 2x, and then we're going from 0 to pi. So you can use, there's three choices here. You can use a line, you can use a bracket, or you can use two brackets. And the 0 goes here, and the pi goes, goes up here, so pi. All right, good stuff. So now we plug in the pi first. So plugging in the pi, we get negative cosine pi minus 2 pi. So this is just replacing all of the x's with pi's at this point. Then you always subtract, no matter what. So minus. Now you plug in the zeros. So I'll put a parenthesis here. So negative cosine 0 and then minus 2 times 0. I didn't skip any steps. Um, I don't know why, but maybe it's better not to in this example. So, first you plug in the pi, okay, then you put a minus, and then you plug in, then you plug in the zeros. Okay, cosine of pi is negative 1, so this is going to be negative negative 1 minus 2 pi. Cosine of 0 was 1, so this is minus negative 1 minus 0. I'm showing like every single step. It's kind of fun. Uh, this is 1. Right, this is 1 minus 2 pi. Mm, interesting. Oh, that's fun. Plus 1. And let's not mess up here. 1 plus 1 is 2. <laughs> 2 minus 2 pi. And that is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.